Hi, Post Crossers. My name is Joe, otherwise known as Monkey Brain on Post Crossing. And I have been asked to be interviewed for Post Crossing. So here we go. So I live in the United States and I had been traveling quite a lot for work and also doing a lot of international travel um, for medical mission work because I work in the medical field. And um, I come from a family who loves to travel. My father was in the military. My father and mother loved traveling. It was probably one of their favorite hobbies to do together. And so my sister and I kind of joined that adventuresome spirit. And um, so I always loved traveling any place new, meeting new people, all of that. Well, um, tragedy stuck, struck twofold for me. Um, and my mother became very sick and passed away very suddenly. And then COVID hit. And so all of a sudden, no one was traveling anywhere. And I was taking care of my dad and was grieving and uh, couldn't travel and couldn't see my friends and couldn't get support. And um, I was in a women's solo travel group and a lot of women were talking about how lonely and isolated they felt and they didn't have this opportunity to meet people and, and connect with people. And someone mentioned um, about Post Crossing and I thought it sounded wonderful. When I was traveling for work in the United States, I would take contracts all over the United States and I loved sending postcards to my friends and family. And was often frustrated that I felt like those postcards never really represented how beautiful the places were that I was visiting. So as a hobby photographer, I started making my own postcards and I started going through all of my old photos of everywhere I traveled. And when I joined Post Crossing, I just kept making more and more postcards and was able to send my own postcards, which was very fun because that was creative for me. But then I also got to reconnect with people all over the world, which I love. So that's how I heard about it. Um, my very first postcard is this lovely card. And it came from Japan. You can see the beautiful stamps on the back. And there were two things I loved about this. One was the artwork, which I think is lovely. But the other was that my dad at one time when I was very young was stationed in Japan and loved it. It's, it's, um, it was always one of his favorite places to go. So it was really lovely being able to share this postcard with him. Um, and he really got a lot out of postcard as, uh, post crossing as well, um, being able to look at all my postcards and share that with me. The next question is a little harder, and that's what is my favorite postcard? And I'm sitting here doing this interview with a small table in front of me that is just covered in the postcards that I've received. And I sorted through, and there were so many that I loved. There are so many favorites. But I have to say, one of my favorites is from a post crosser um, in the Netherlands who now has become a pen pal and a friend of mine, and it's this one. And she sends me the most beautiful postcards. Um, she makes them herself. I love getting homemade postcards. And I ride a motorcycle. And so I just thought this postcard was just fantastic. Um, she made that especially for me after finding out that I was a biker chick. So, um, so that was very fun. And here are like some of her others. I mean, her art is just absolutely incredible. So... Um, so yeah, I, I really, really have so many that I like, some that are funny, some that are very sweet, some that just, um, you know, represent wherever they're coming from. So that's great. That kind of leads into my favorite part about Post Crossing and, and that's connecting with people all over the world. But also I love when people just Right about their day and about their life and um, just what's going on in their area and what they love to do where they live and I really love that because to me that's like a surrogate for travel it feels like I'm actually having a conversation with them and I met them at a cafe or in the airport and so I really love that I do have a number of pen pals now through post crossing where we love to send cards to each other it's dropped off a little but in general um, it's been, it's been really nice. Um, 
The other favorite part, which leads in a little bit to the favorite postcard, is um, my father, his first birthday after my mom passed away, um, I went ahead and put in a request for people to send him postcards. And I received so many postcards and I put them all into this box that I made with a map of one of the favorite places that he and my mom had visited. And I gave them to him as a birthday present. And that, um, that just made his day. He absolutely loved it. And they all just have the most amazing, beautiful, happy birthday messages on the back. And I will keep them forever. Um, my father just passed away actually a couple months ago and that's been very hard. And so it's actually been really nice going back and looking at these and just remembering how much he loved getting them. And, you know, my father loved birds. And so I got some beautiful bird postcards. I mean, just really beautiful. And he loved to travel. So I got so many postcards of people just you know, from where they came from and people talking on the back about what it's like to live in their town or their village or their city. Um, so that's another wonderful thing I love about it. I love the community. And I have also sent lots of cards to strangers just to make their day better or whatever the case may be. And I just love that about our community. Um, it's pretty amazing, I think. I know we get extra credit for showing our mail back, box. However, I live in a place that you have to go to one building and then you just have this little boring box. So I thought instead I might just show you a few ways that I display my postcards. As I said, I, I don't organize very, very well, but I like to take them out and, and show them off. And so I have little stands that I can put cards in and swap out. I have this, which is actually for card players. So I bought a couple of these and I can slide them in and out and I can swap those out. Um, and so I, I like to have them out and about and around me. I have a little basket that belonged to my mom, a wooden basket, and it's filled with cards. And I love being able to kind of look through them and plan where I'm gonna go next and uh, just look at all the beautiful places there are in the world and to read about all these wonderful people who kind of give you a little more hope for humanity. So, hope you like this interview and maybe we'll swap cards someday. Have a good day.